Hey, what's up guys? A uh, quick tutorial today on how to fix sound issues. Um, this is something that happens once in a while and uh, why it happens, honestly, I do not know. It's kind of a glitch. Um, and you know, when it happens, it's, it's very easy to fix, but the issue is that the sound will cut out and uh, you won't have sound when you're playing the games. And uh, you will, usually you, ha you have sound in the, in the front end, you know, your video preview previews work and everything, but the actual gameplay will not have sound. All right, so first up, we want to identify what it is that doesn't have sound, which emulator is it, you know, what system are you playing? And uh, a lot of the times it's gonna be RetroArch, and the reason is because RetroArch, uh, then that's the name of the emulator, RetroArch, um, I have configured to run a lot of systems on here. So I started you guys off here on the desktop, Normally you would be inside Hyperspin. Now most of you know how to do this, but I'm gonna go through it just in case. All right, so you're gonna be in here and you're gonna to wanna to do Control, Shift, Escape on the keyboard. Do it again, there you go. Uh, go over the Processes tab and look for Hyperspin here. Hyperspin.exe. Click on that and then do End Process. Do End Process again. And on your computer, you're going to have a black background. So the next step would go to at the Applications tab, New Task, type in Explorer and hit OK, and then that'll bring you to the desktop. All right, after that, again, open up a Rocket Launcher with the icon on the shortcut on your desktop. And we're going to let this load. All right, let's full screen this guy here. All right, so let's say you're playing Nintendo and all of a sudden your, your sound cuts out. Let's go in here and type Nintendo or you can just scroll through the list or you can type it in here. I'm gonna type Nintendo. If I can type correctly. All right, Nintendo. So everything with the word Nintendo shows up. Now we're looking for Nintendo Entertainment System. There it is. So you click on it. And then you go over here to emulators to the tab that says emulators and we can see that the emulator for that system is RetroArch. So that tells us, okay, we have to look at RetroArch. That's why it has a problem. Um, and as you can see, a bunch of these are going to be RetroArch. So if any of these have issues like that, you would be looking at RetroArch. Now here at GameCube, it shows you emulator is Dolphin. So um, obviously you would look at Dolphin. So again, the first step is go in here, figure out what emulator is running the system that you have an issue with the sound on. All right, now that we know that, that we know it is um, RetroArch, you wanna go into uh, start, which is not showing up for me right now, right here, but start on the left here, and you go to computer. Then you go to your, um, in your case, it's gonna be, it's just like this, you're gonna have less drives in this. Um, arcade or D drive. <clears throat> Then you're gonna go into, actually you can also use the shortcuts on the left here. We can just jump straight into emulators. You should have the shortcut as well. Okay, so in here, you're gonna have all the emulators on your computer and uh, you're gonna look for RetroArch. So here it is, RetroArch. You don't wanna do any of these other ones like this, just RetroArch. All right, so now we go in there and we go scroll down to the executable, which is retroarch.exe. Okay, so you wanna go over here to the right, to the lower right, to the speaker icon, and you wanna right click on that, and you wanna do open volume mixer. Now this is gonna show you the volume for every single application that is running. Uh, so next, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and launch retroarch.exe. And as you can see, the uh, little speaker icon right here is muted. And that's the reason you don't have any sound in your game. And again, why that happens, um, it's kind of a glitch. You know, it just happens once in a while. And that's all it is. It's just Windows muted the emulator and you have to go in here and unmute it. But for that, you have to have the emulator running, obviously. So once you unmute that, you can go ahead and close RetroArch. Do not change anything in here. Just open it, unmute, and close it back up. So we're gonna X out of here. And now, when you start it again, you can see that it's not muted anymore. So now when you play Nintendo again, it's gonna have sound just like it did before. And that's it, guys, that's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. 
if it happened uh so we saw the other the other dolphin one on there before let's look for dolphin uh here it is it was one of these so you would open this same thing you would open dolphin to, to exe and then over here it would show up in, in this case i guess you have to be running the game for it to show up here um so you would start up an actual game and uh let's say this game okay and then you would just alt tab over to the mixer and there is dolphin right there so you would unmute it it would be muted like this so you don't hear any sound you would unmute that and boom you have sound okay so that's it guys it's as simple as that that's how to fix uh the sound cutting out if you don't hear sound when you're playing a game that's going to be why you go in there you do that it takes a minute and that's it that's all you have to do all right guys i'll see you on the next one